A couple of days ago, while sitting on the couch and playing Solitaire, which is for some reason pre-installed on this new Xiaomi 13, I started wondering what is the best small smartphone for videos in 2023? Well, the answer is obvious, you might say it's iPhone 14 Pro, but I also wanted it to be a smartphone that doesn't cost an arm and a leg, only an arm, if that's possible. So I would have to go with uh, the iPhone 14, not the Pro version of it, and the S23, not the S23 Ultra, because the S23 Ultra is huge and this is actually small, with the Asus Zenfone 9, because they haven't released 10 yet, and with this Xiaomi 13. Not the Pro version, because it's bigger. So let's compare them. The first test is pretty obvious. Everybody does it. You just put a smartphone on a drone, hit record and see what happens. Usually this happens. But in this case, both the drone and the smartphone are okay. When putting a smartphone on a drone, I would suggest using the widest lens possible. Not because the wider the lens, the less shaky the footage seems to be, which is true, but because a wide lens gives you speed. It feels like you're flying faster than you actually are. Look, this is the main lens for comparison. Boring, shaky and slow. Feels like retirement. And I'm not ready yet. The main lenses are great for shooting videos underwater. Yes, all of these smartphones are water resistant and even though it's not always the best idea to use your phone as an underwater camera, I'm not known for having the best ideas. And if this idea was a bad one, I don't care, it looks good for me. Selfie cams. Obviously, while running. Not me. I'm just sitting here and watching, like you. But some people love to run and film themselves while doing it. They are just getting the message across that the Zenfone 9 is not a phone for runners. Or, as I've learned a day later, you can turn the stabilization of the selfie cam on and it works. The outcome isn't perfect, but it's better than without the stabilization and the Zenfone is the cheapest of the bunch. That's something worth keeping in mind while looking at this comparison. Since we are uh, there running, let's look at the stabilization options of the main cameras. Samsung S23 has the Super Steady, Xiaomi offers the Steady Video Pro, iPhone has the Action Mode, and Zenfone's stabilization is called Hyper Steady. Money. I think there is a clear winner here, but why not argue about it in the comments section? I'm gonna try and find out what the neighbors are up to, and the iPhone 14 with its 3x zoom is probably not the weapon of choice to complete this quest. Zenfone's 4x zoom is not a great help either. You can zoom up to 6 times with the Xiaomi 13. That is an okay-ish result, but if I really wanted to spy on my neighbors, I would need at least the 12 times zoom offered by Samsung. Also, I don't want to encourage you to spy on your neighbors like that. Please be civilized and use Instagram and Facebook instead.
Okay, this is the last one and maybe a bit unnecessary, but maybe it helps you make your mind up before you go to the comments section to argue with your fellow viewers. And also, I think it's cute. I mean, the test, not the arguing. And that's it. Hope you had fun and know which one to choose and which not to. Wait, did I forget about the slow motion test? Yes, I did. And it's too late now and also no one uses slow motion in their phones more than twice, so I feel kinda excused. Thanks for today. I hope you have a bearable one. And I hope to see you soon.